This sucks. This doesn't suck. Before you begin, take out your Stumac string spacing rule. With that out of the way, the first step is to slot the two outside strings. The secret here is a 4 inch double square and a feeler gauge. The double square goes against the edge of the neck behind the first fret. Notice where the bevel is on the edge of the fret. 464 of an inch from the edge of the bevel will work pretty much every time. Slide the double square into place and lock it. The feeler gauge goes over the top of the frets to protect them. Now take the double square, put it over the top of the feeler gauge, and use it as a fence for your nut file. Repeat the process on the other side. For this outermost high E string, I prefer to use a razor saw, which is more stable. The thinner nut files tend to flex pretty easily, but we do have to use them later, which I'll explain when we get there. This will get your string alignment perfect every time. But just to make sure, you can leave the edges of the nut a little proud, to allow for even more precise adjustment. To cut the slot for the second string, we're going to use a feeler gauge as a fence. You can also use a nut file, which is hard to beat for convenience if you already have a full set of different sizes. Here I'm using a 28 thousandths feeler gauge because I like my string pairs very close together. This will ensure uniform distance between the string pairs. Simply use the feeler gauge as a fence for your nut file. Repeat the process for the other side. If you don't have enough string above the nut slot to brace the feeler gauge, put a feeler gauge of similar size in the nut slot instead. Stack the spacer feeler gauge in front of it, catch it in the slot, lower it, and now you have a solid fence for your nut slotting file. Now that the outermost string pairs are done, we can move on to slotting the inner strings. On a normal nut, we'd now use the formula A minus B divided by C equals S, where A equals the distance between the inside of the outermost strings, B equals the sum diameter of the remaining inner strings, C equals the number of spaces between all the strings, and S is the equal width for all of those spaces. Once you find S, set your calipers to that measurement and use the jaws as a guide. Placing the calipers against the front of the nut and the fingerboard, one jaw goes against the previous string, and the other jaw acts as a fence for your nut file while you cut the slot for the next string. This will give you perfectly spaced nut slots every single time which you can verify with your calipers. For 12 string nuts, we find A the same way. Measure the distance between the inside of the outermost string pairs. For B, think of the string pairs as a single string. Add the diameter of both strings and the distance between them together. For this 12 string with a custom string gauge, the math looks like this. The gold font is the space in between the string pairs. Keep in mind, you can vary the string pair spacing however you want by using a feeler gauge as a fence. Once you've calculated the string pairs as single strings, add them together to find B. We still have five spaces between the strings, so C stays the same. Now that you have your numbers, use the A minus B divided by C equals S formula. In this case, we get 247 thousandths of an inch. Set and lock the calipers and get ready to cut the slots. Just remember, keep your calipers level. Even a little movement the wrong way can throw off your spacing. A small circular level stuck to the body of the calipers right here might be a great idea. As I mentioned earlier, 
The thinner nut files flex easily, but we have to use them because the razor saw won't fit inside the caliper jaws. So make sure you brace the file with your finger close to the jaws as you cut. Done properly, the string will line up perfectly. Be careful with your feeler gauges as well. Make sure they're straight and that your nut file is pressed firmly against them. That was an instrumental I wrote about 13 years ago, played on this uh, 12 string here. And I gotta say, guys, I am so impressed with the string pair spacing on this. It's incredible. Really glad I decided to go with 28 thousandths. I wouldn't go any narrower than that. If you went any narrower, you'd probably run the risk of the strings uh, crashing into each other if you hit them hard enough. But the string separation is so good. Like for doing chords, typically with paired string nuts, you can run into issues accidentally muting other strings because they're too close together. This maximizes the amount of space you have between each string pair. And it is just, it, it is a world of difference, I'm telling you. Also can't stop playing it. a major sign that it is man I can't even think this is so good and I'm not like a this isn't an ego thing not like oh my god I did such a good job I mean it is objectively speaking the spacing for the nut which anybody can achieve with the method that I just laid out in this video it, it is just so good I wish every guitar tech knew about this uh, it's just a godsend for paired string nuts, and I am a 12 string freak. I love it to death, and this really, really elevates it to a whole nother level that is just mind blowing. <laughs> 